American music that has inspired many genres of music altogether. Oh yeah, so I met a musician who started making noise as a toddler and signed his first deal at 16. Since then, Lester Merle has played with almost everybody in the jazz world, and after settling in Amelia Island, him and his wife Bonnie created the Amelia Island Jazz Festival with hopes of helping the genre continue grow to grow and prosper. Oh, that big band swing. Wanting to bring world-class jazz to Amelia Island, Les and his wife Bonnie created the Jazz Festival in 2001. We decided to start the festival as a not-for-profit, and we give out scholarships every year to high school musicians to study jazz in college. So we work on fundraising all year. We bring in the best musicians in the world that we can get. It's a combination of entertainment, the concept, and education. Les talks about the importance of keeping the sound of jazz alive. Jazz is an American art form. This is something that we, we started here. It started in New Orleans, you know, and we and a lot of people don't realize that this is one of the one of the things that we really created. So we should take such pride in this, you know. And if you look at all the great Papa Daddies, as I call them, of the music, I'm talking about Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, Dizzy Gillespie, Charlie Parker, Sarah Vaughan. The, a lot of the people that, even though they 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 say they play jazz or know jazz, might not know the history of jazz. And Les has played with those names and many more. Playing and listening is one thing, but more importantly... You gotta have the roots. You have to know the foundation of the music. So that's what we do. We, we not only entertain with that music, but we teach it. With jazz covering such a wide spectrum, the festival strives to share as many styles as they can. When we, the way we start is with our free concert in Amelia Park this year with the University of, of uh, University of North Florida Jazz Ensemble Two, directed by Dennis Marks. Monday night is our sponsors party. That's going to be at a cool restaurant on the island called Horizons, and that's going to be with Bill Prince, his award-winning multi-instrumentalist, and my jazz trio with Bonnie Eisel, my my wife vocalist, and Sam Cavaris will be there. Too. Tuesday, we do jazz in the schools all day, several schools all over Nassau County. Then Wednesday, my swing band called the Little Big Band will be at Sandy Bottoms with a, with a show called Jump, Jive, and Whale. Thursday night, we have Trio Caliente, and they're a great Latin band. On Friday night, Houston Person flies into town from New York City, and he's our headliner. He's legendary, and he's going to be headlining Friday night at St. Michael's Parish Hall followed by the late night jam session at Artie Pizza, which we call Dizzy's Den, in tribute to Dizzy Gillespie. And that'll be that'll be Lisa Kelly, J.B. Scott, and a Tom Nullivac, who's our scholarship winner, will have his quintet there. And then the next night, Bria Stoneberg flies into town. She's headlining Saturday night, incredible trumpet player. Bonnie and I will open up for her. And then the late night jam again, followed by Sunday Jazz Brunch with Dixieland. And to confirm jazz influences, Les has had one of his classic drum pieces incorporated into a new genre of house music. You could go into these late night dance clubs, and I was getting emails all over the all, from all over the country. Man, they took they took your beat on Spectrum, and it's on this OC thing. But it's me, and they found out who Les Monroe was, and they contacted me, and they say, I see red, but at the same time, it is kind of a, a you know I'm, not, I'm honored that a lot of young people seriously will know of my my name, you know, long after I'm gone. And the thing he really loves about the Amelia. Island Jazz Festival is the connection to the past leading to a bright future. That's what keeps it what's so cool about it. Like Duke Ellington says, you have one foot in the past and one foot in the future. If you got that covered, you can't miss. I'm Rance Adams, feeling jazz for River City Live. Showing off your skills, huh? Yes, I need a lot of help. <laughs> now, there's still tickets available for the eight-day music fest, and Les says they're also open to sponsorship, sponsorship help for anyone who wants to help them expand the scholarships that they've created. If you want to know more, go to RiverCityLiveTV.com and click on the As Seen on RCL link. All right, now here at River City Live, we love to give away tickets, and we have two tickets right now for the Jump, Jive, and Whale, which is on October 5th. All you have to do is email us, I love jazz to RCL contest at WJXT.com. So we're always looking out. Free stuff. <laughs> we love free stuff. So good luck on that. We'll be back right after this. The party.